I hope we're in focus. All right, shall I start it off? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my page. Thank you so much for being here today. As you can see, we have Adam here and very exciting because every time he jumps onto these videos, our views are always like a double. So obviously you guys really like to watch videos with Adam. So for this video for today, we wanted to talk to you guys about hopelessness. And this is not something that we have overcome ourselves necessarily, but basically we both have been feeling hopeless in different ways personal things going on within our within our lives, but also just things that have been going on in the world. And we know that there are probably so many people that are feeling this way right now, whether it's, again, something that's happening with the pandemic, with restrictions, or just in your personal life with different injustices, different world events. And so we feel that we have really been um, able to receive from the Lord in the past like day or two. Um, where he's really encouraged us. So we just want to share with you guys our takeaways and yeah, kind of like some of our struggles as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So awesome guys. Thanks for um, having me back and thanks for all your comments. I always read them. They're awesome. So I appreciate that a lot. Um, for me, we have some points we want to share at the end, but we just want to go a little bit uh, deep and get vulnerable. Um, for me, we recently went on a mission trip. As you know, we went to Maui. That's my first mission trip since... Uh, the virus come um, and all these restrictions come and I'd go on like two to three mission trips a year and I love it. I love to adventure. If you said to me, uh, tomorrow Adam, we're putting a backpack on you and I'm going to send you into the middle of the Amazon rainforest, I'd be so happy. So so when restrictions come in and, and stop me from doing what I love, it hinders me. So, but every time, on the flip side of that is every time I go on these amazing adventures, these amazing mission trips and I get to share the gospel with all these kids. When I come back, come back to my home and hit reality, I kind of get a little bit lost and a little bit low. So in these last few weeks returning back to Vancouver, um, I just feel like my prayer life with the Lord is a little bit weak. So I really been, so I, so I was praying the other day and I was like, Lord, um, I want to be more intentional and more intimate with you. I want my prayer life to be rich and strong and I want to pray for something and it happens. And um, I want to feel your presence more. You know, like when you go, you hit that kind of plateau and you just well, now you want to go up to the next uh, peak kind of thing. So thankfully last night we went to our Friday night Bible studies and um, God is so good is when you pray for something, he speaks through people to us. So uh, Sam encouraged us last night and, um, and actually everyone encouraged us last night at the Bible studies. Basically throughout the entire pandemic, I felt like I haven't really wavered in my faith because I just felt like I have this peace from the Lord and there I didn't really have a discouragement at least with what was going on in the world until the past week. And um, if you guys know we live in Canada so there's been a lot going on with the government and changes and um, so that was really, it caused a lot of like heaviness and hopelessness hopelessness with what's going on in the world for our, going on in our country as well um, so anyways we went to go on a drive I guess we could call it like a prayer drive mm -hmm. and then we'll put on a sermon or we'll pray we'll put on worship music and stuff like that and we put this sermon on we can actually link it below um, it was really really encouraging and it was all about what is going on in the world right now and um, basically just really spoke to us and the pastor was saying that the battle does not belong to us the battle belongs to the Lord and I know for us so often we will um, try to take like action and try to take responsibility or feel like we have to um, fight in the natural what's going on around us meanwhile it's like don't we already know that God already knows the outcome um, and just to be completely honest with you guys like I I feel like I haven't really come to this point at least many times in my faith before but this week I honestly started to doubt like is God even hearing me like is he is he actually gonna do something or like am I just like I just all these thoughts of doubt came into my mind thinking like what did I do wrong like that the Lord's not answering my prayers and that I'm in the situation or feeling that I'm in a hopeless situation and so that was really really encouraging and as a reminder that the Lord has already gone before us he already knows the outcome and um, we really just need to be agreeing and declaring um, that the Lord is going to come and he is going to rescue us and, and he yeah. is going to turn things around. And also like our good friend Sam says is the Lord says come away with me. It's like it's like like a great analogy. It's like like forget your trouble. Just mm -hmm. like get in the car and just come away with me. 
Like, mm -hmm. like don't worry with how messy your house is. Like an example of the world but just come away with me and he would take us into like beautiful fields and mountain tops and mm -hmm. and it's like he doesn't even want us to look back you like he just says look forward like mm -hmm. and and that is something that we it's easily that we can forget and mm -hmm. m for me for sure in this last couple of weeks i've just mm -hmm. been uh mm -hmm. reacting to what's going on and in in regards i should be proactive and just seeking the lord mm -hmm. so and just to add sorry yeah, to what you said yeah as well as what our friend also always says is he's like come away with me and like come up above the clouds with mm. me so that you're seeing from a godly perspective mm, yeah. and you're seeing the perspective that god has like a heavenly perspective of what's going on instead of being in the natural and fighting yeah. fighting everything in the natural and there is obviously like i don't believe in being complacent and doing nothing i do believe it's important to speak the truth but speaking the truth in mm. love is extremely important um, and not out of a place of uh, anger or bitterness, so. yeah. but anyways, continue. <laughs> no, that's so good. And uh, you know, that just takes me to my next thing. So uh, when we was at the, so uh, when we was at the Bible studies, uh, we was listening to um, a workshop from Corey Russell and a few things that I got from it last night is um, prayer and fasting. Um, we have an election coming up in Canada in the 20th of September. So. Mm -hmm. Um, regardless who you want to vote for, what we're going to do is we're going to fast from the 1st to the 20th. Mm -hmm. and obviously I thought you were going to say, regardless of who you're going to vote for, we're going to vote for it. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is that type of video? Sorry, continue. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so obviously uh, we're going to uh, fast. So that's another great tip is uh, if you mm -hmm. feel like you just hit, keep hitting brick walls, like fast, like reduce what worldly attachments are coming on to you and just like sever them and just seek the Lord and mm -hmm. even in our weakness of, of fasting like his strength will be glorified so it's, it's amazing yeah uh, so for me my last point is this and I want to paint this beautiful analogy and uh, you know when you're a kid and you always used to love when maybe an older uh, friend or someone's older brother or sister used to come in and protect you if you ever got into trouble and, and for me I always used to get into trouble with a, as a kid uh, so when um, you know things like the vengeance is mine it's like that's amazing like it's like he's willing to fight fight our battles for us and mm. not leave us like not allowing us just to get beat up but he comes in and protects us and um it's just beautiful and so that's what i wanted to share is just let's just read romans 12 19 and um just really find hope ho ho hopefully in that analogy that i just painted yeah get around other believers and either get like a prayer partner or um, if you attend a church right now, or if you have a Bible study to go to, we were really thrown off of our schedule because we were traveling a lot this summer. And so we kind of stopped, like we weren't able to go to our church and go to Bible studies and things like that. And so it was really important that we went back to our Bible study and that we we're able to connect with like-minded believers who are standing for the same things and who are um, who just are agreeing in prayer with us. So that was really encouraging because I think a lot of the times with hopelessness is that we feel alone and we feel that other people are not going through what we're going through. Um, and that actually brings me to my last point, which is just to encourage you guys that you are not alone in the hopelessness that you're feeling, whether it's with work, your career, a relationship, your situation, your finances, something that's going on in the world. Um, you are not alone and the enemy will try to tell you that you are alone. Um, but it's not true and so that's why I think it's so important to be able to find like just one person to, to pray with um, and yeah or just again just to get to get around believers and mm -hmm. so yeah we just really wanted to encourage you guys with that today that yeah. we all feel hopeless and even people on the outside yeah. might look like they are not hopeless but a lot of times we just don't share that yeah and for me just to wrap it up just one more point is I always say this to the kids that I coach and I always say to them, don't ever lose your joy. And even if you're walking down the street and you have like $50 in your pocket and you go in to grab your phone and, it, and, you, and it's in the same pocket as the money and you pull your phone out and the $50 drops out and you walk away and you never find it. And then you're just so upset. And, and I say to the kids, I'm like, so you just sold your joy for $50. And then I say to them, but your joy is priceless. And I say that to you today, your joy is priceless because your joy comes from the Lord. So don't lose it. Whatever situation you're in, 
I know it's hard, I know it's hard because I struggle with this, is don't lose your joy because it's not your joy, it comes from Him. So I hope that encourages you today. Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah. thank you guys for your support. And also I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, but please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel because yeah. it really, really helps me out, helps us out. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much to my Patreons and well, they're really like our Patreon. So thank yeah. you guys so much. And then the last thing I wanted to say as well, I don't know what side it's on, but is it on this side? This side. This side. Um, we have a sale for Covered by Grace's Summer Sale. So this is one of our summer pieces. So I'll put the link for that as well. I got, uh, just, just please just keep praying for us, uh, making these videos or oh, an order struggle. Like even making this video today, like the enemy attacks us like pretty hardcore, like to not make this footage, not do these videos. So it's, it's a battle. So we need a prayer coverage over us. So please pray for us. Please pray for my wife and her coaching business and all that's what she does. Like she, I just come in and do the, the little bit of work to look good, but she, she puts all the grunt work in and all that. So please pray for us, but please pray, pray for my wife as well. Just, just keep her protected with a hedge of protection. That would be amazing. Cover her, please. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, love you guys. Love you. See you next week. Bye. Bye.